Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Nathan from Daily Motor. Welcome to the live drive of the 2022 Volkswagen Golf R. It's the Pirate Edition. We're gonna spend the next hour or so driving this thing around, talking about what makes it cool and worth your time here in 2022. We've got Alyssa behind the camera. We're gonna be getting to your chats in just a few minutes. So let us know if you're here. I already saw Pittsburgh man getting in there nice and early. Saw Most Wanted in the chat. And uh, it was a Cura RB as well, something. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let us know. Your turn, 315 horsepower, I think 310 pound feet of torque. All wheel drive, too, which kind of sets it apart from the hot hatch landscape. A lot of people like the Civic Tire, wheel drive only with little rubber band tires. So if you're out here in less than ideal situations like it is here today, about freezing temps, you're going to really appreciate having all wheel drive with all this power because if it were just front wheel drive, it'd be Spin City, Focus RS. Focus RS, but Ford doesn't make that here in the United States anymore yeah. because they hate us. Yep. <laughs> they do hate us. Yes. We are second class citizens when it comes to cars. The kind of theme color of the Golf R is blue. We'll see that in the interior and you see it here with this blue line as well. Although I did notice that this blue line does kind of make it look like an electric vehicle, like it were an huh. e-golf or something. There's just something about the, the blue that's kind of a theme for electric vehicles. So that's interesting. But the R designation does stand it apart. I'll also say it kind of looks silly when you sort of take a few steps back and look at the car. It's got like a big old mouth that's screaming like, ah! <laughs> It does, it does look like that. There's a, there's a Pokemon, I think it's Laurid, or one of the Wishmer uh, evolutions that it kind of looks like. Like its bottom lip is coming up? Yeah, yeah, and it, it's like dropped here and it's like wiggled on the side, like, yeah. like an anime yeah. character or something. Yeah. But. We are rocking winter tires today, so that should help us with a little bit of shenaniganing. Big old brake rotors on there, you can see. Big, I think it's four piston calipers. Oh, big brake. Vented brakes, brakes, yep, drilled, slotted, ventilated. Up here you see not body color mirror caps. Volkswagen cheaped out and went silver for all of them. And maybe you say that's cool. I think it is kind of cool looking, but you can also see it as kind of lazy because then they can just use silver for everything. <laughs> into the back of course 93 octane well technically 91 premium gas for those of you out in california who don't get 93 and other than that it's still a very functional hatchback five door only you still get your classic volkswagen pole and a boot no spare tire though a little bit of underfloor storage with a subwoofer that takes up as much space as a spare tire would. <laughs> so I don't know why they can't just put a little space saver spare in there as well. Yeah, kind of a neat white paint. What do you think about the R badge in the back? I love that. I kind of like it too. Yeah. I like That's how so subtle crisp. it is. Yeah. I like that it's in the center too. This whole car is pretty subtle mm -hmm. when it comes down to it. Yeah, when you consider its, its rivals and its abilities, it's a pretty subtle car, and the, and the Golf R has always sort of spoke to that. The GTI and the Golf R have been the grown man's, the businessman's hot hatch, and we're going to see that today in its driving characteristics and its interior. Let's hop on in. These are quad exhaust tips. Yes, yeah, and they're, and real, they're exhaust real tips, too. I don't know if they're not real quads, but they're real tips. Okay. Look how much space I have in the back. Headroom, knee room. Are you pretty comfortable? Yes, very. Nice. Nathan's five foot ten. Good amount of room. Not quite as much as in the Civic Si, but still pretty good. And look how beautiful this blue is back here. I love that. Yeah. Very striking. Oh, also, Nathan, get your phone out. Look at oh, these little yeah. pockets. Oh. Those are one of my favorite features of new cars. Well, it's a two-handed function. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. Wallet in one, phone in the other, and then you don't. Uh, Sorry. No, it's fine. It just adds so much usability because you think about if it weren't for those pockets, Nathan would have to put his phone probably over in the door and then it'd be way down and kind of out of the way. Or and, in and, here. Yeah, well, yeah, but what if he has a drink? What and what if his passenger has a drink? Or there's uh, five people. Extra in large here. Big Mac. Right. Side. Yeah, exactly. So for him to have a little spot for his phone is really that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, this interior is all functional but also a bit minimalist. Alyssa was talking about how much she likes the clean design of everything. I really do like it. It's a little bland for my taste, but hey, that's everyone has their own their own taste, and I'm glad to know that someone does appreciate it, and Alyssa is that, that person. Continue with the fun blue 
I accents here, some blue stitching. You have kind of skull ball material outside of the wheel, but on the top and the bottom, it's smooth. And kind of a, a grayish carbon fiber weave look. It's, it's just plastic, but it's made to look kind of carbon fibery. That is neat. Yeah. I What I actually really like in here, and this is going to sound kind of weird, is how this stock is. It just looks so simple, so clean. It's very... Like, it doesn't have a ton of little knobby functions, and it doesn't have... I can't see what the other one looks like, but I assume they're kind of similar. Yes. I like how crisp it is. They are nice, too. They, they feel much better than, like, something you get from Ford. And I can my opinion on the interior. One sec. She's showing the over-engineered German cup holder. That won't break. <laughs> that won't get gummed up the first time you drop some coffee on it. I just like... I If I had this car, I'd just sit on the highway... And play the whole. Yeah. Yes? I do not like this interior. No? I think it's bland and those uh, climate and radio buttons. Pretty much everything button yeah. in here is stupid and complicated and difficult to use. It will be interesting to get Alyssa behind the wheel a bit and kind of see what she thinks about interacting with the infotainment because the to kind of spoil it. Um, the, the main talk of the new GTI and the Golf R has been its infotainment and its controls. All of these controls are haptic, so they're not real buttons. You can't actually click them, mm. and they don't feel very good in that regard. No volume knob, and kind of all the infotainment is um, unique. But I will say, if you just spend about half an hour sitting in the driveway playing around things, maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe 10, 15 minutes, playing around and kind of acclimating yourself to the system. Some of the things do get easier to use, but other things are just, they're redesigned just for the sake of, of redesigning it. And no one really asked for things to change. Things like, if you want to adjust your adaptive cruise control following distance, you press this button and then press the, t the up and the down. But that means you can't adjust your cruise control speed while you're doing that. So if you want to change your following distance and then set your cruise control speed, you have to wait. And could you just adjust the volume for me using that? Apparently I I cannot. Why isn't it going up? Maybe because I don't have any media playing? Let's see. It went down. It did go down. What have the people you've been talking to been marking as the biggest go. successes so far at least? Well, yeah, not as good as a knob. Huh. That's unfortunate. Also, and I know this was kind of a uh, complaint in the Tesla too, but heated and cooled seats require two clicks. You gotta click here, and then click there. And multiple clicks if you want them all the way up. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm sure we got some comments. Let's get them going. Yeah, did you want to start driving while I read them? No. Okay, okay. Kriya RB says this is exciting. And Most Wanted says, can't wait for this one. This is one of the biggest prospects for when I graduate college. Yeah, Most Wanted. I want you to kind of talk as much as you want throughout the chat and let us know things you'd like to know or see, uh, kind of opinions and comparisons, because I think a lot, this is a really hot market right now in like these cars, the, the Civic, the Golf, the Hyundai products, of course, Ford's out of the game. Uh, but kind of uh, Subaru, the new WRX, things like that, and I'd like to kind of talk to why you might get this over some of the competitors. Cool. Very nice. Xavier, Soto, Pittsburgh Man, uh, Joshua John, and Lucy all say hello. What's going on, peeps? Uh, Joe Marlowe says, waiting for my white one. Ooh, neat. Just like this. Joshua John wants to look at the window sticker. Okay. We are not many options on golf R's. You pretty much just get to choose the transmission and the color. Price? So they're pretty much all going to cost about $45.5 out the door. We did get 31 miles per gallon on our highway fuel economy test. That's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you want to know in particular regarding this? Joshua John, let us know. All right. The Pittsburgh man says, had a huge blizzard yesterday, a bit more than two feet of snow. Oh spent, yeah, up north is getting hammered right now. Really? We spent yeah. two hours shoveling the snow to get the cars out. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Toronto, that's a lot of snow for Toronto. Yeah. Moran says oh, howdy. Wow. Hey, Moran. Most Moran says we're about to get our first snowstorm in years in Virginia. Wow. Wow. They're getting snow in Virginia. 
That doesn't happen very often. No. No. You have to head up your brother. Yeah. My brother lives in Morgantown, I think. Um, West Virginia. That's West Virginia. That's close. Where Unless there live? might be a Morgantown, Virginia, they too. They live in but, Virginia. Okay. Um, Lucy plays Roblox, says, wow, not very much space in the trunk, but I love the white paint. Yeah, and at least since it's a hatch, you can fold down the seats and then you get a big old amount of space. Nathan and I know you can do a lot with a hatchback. Mm -hmm. Oh, in high geez. School. Oh, gosh. Uh... So Nathan and I both had focuses. That's fun. Um, and thank you, Lucy, for asking. I am doing great. Yes, Alyssa uh, is recovered. I have. You want to show everyone your scars? No, thanks. <laughs> Most Wanted says, I wish we got the Acropovic exhaust in the U.S. Oh, they offer that from the factory? And that'd be awesome. In in the in the EU? That'd be really cool. Probably why on good. earth would they think that the Europeans would, would want, want that, but not the that? Americans? Yeah, what the heck? God, we are really treated like second-class citizens <laughs> when it comes to cars. Yeah, sounds like we need another war. Yep. <laughs> Most Wanted says, Q, 20-minute rant about the infotainment. Yeah, I, I'm going to try to be as open-minded with it as possible. I like it better than the Topher. I don't know what Chris Brower's take is on it yet. We'll hear in his review because he hasn't driven it as much yet. There are definitely weirdnesses and quirks. And the fact that if you say Volkswagen too loud, then you get a little uh, you get a little thing. I don't know if it's Hey Volkswagen or My Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Golf. Is it golf? It's popped up random times in my reviews, so we'll see if it happens wow, today, too. that's interesting. Yeah. Moran says the EA888 Gen 3 has to go from under the hood. It needs DNWA swap, a.k.a. the newer <laughs> version of DAZA, DAZA, to make it easy for everyone. It needs the RS3 TTRS swap. Ooh. It's a direct bolt onto the Golf. Really? That's good to know. Yeah. Engines. He's saying we need to pull out this engine, put the engine in from the Audi TTR. Thank you for translating. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, Alright, should we get on the road? I think we should. We've got a lot. Okay. I can, I can read more as we go. Um, Joe Marlowe wants you to use the steering wheel volume adjustment. <clears throat> okay. Patients are coming to us. We cannot extend the hospital much more, and the other hospital. Yes, takes a while. Yeah. Also, the car starts out in sport mode, which I find to be interesting. Wow, that's a really cool looking screen. This is beautiful. Like yes. the resolution on that. Yeah, it's a really crisp, sharp screen, and uh, Apple CarPlay looks really good on it. Most Wanted says, I'm in the minority that actually likes the interior. I like the interior. Well, you're the minority. Oh, well, yeah. I like, this, I like the driver's part, but everywhere else, and the seats. But everywhere else, it's just like, I don't not like minimalist without being nice. <laughs> my, it's not, not like the Tesla, where it's minimalist, but welcoming. Mm -hmm. He continues on to say, but if they're going to rely so heavily on touch controls, they really need to use a faster processor or storage and illuminate the center controls. Mm. I think that would kind of help with that. Yes. The haptic touches. I agree. Yeah. Is this made in Germany? Yes. Engine's made in Hungary. The car's made in Germany. Got it. Kiwi Interstates is in the chat. It's been Hi, a while. Kiwi Interstates. Hey, man. He said it snowed in Charlotte, North Carolina, too. What? <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't mind it not being snowy here. It makes like it makes work easier. Yeah. Up north at least. I'd like snow. Can we there? I'd rather get as much uh, view of the sky as possible. Okay. Aiden Graham said Toronto yesterday was crazy. Everywhere I drove, I saw a car in the ditch or stuck in the road. That's when you want all wheel drive and winter tires, just like this thing. Alex is manual and it is not. It is not. We are rocking the little uh, the little chub. ESG. <laughs> Seven speed dual clutch automatic. And that's why I'm able to drive with one hand. Most wanted says I'm 
Force One, it also says it would be awesome if you could change how sensitive the volume side controls uh, are to, and adjust how much uh, each swipe changes the volume. That would be nice. That would be cool. But that's a lot. A lot. That would be a lot. Charlie, you should use Nurburgring mode. Oh, okay. James May's favorite mode. One thing I will say that's kind of frustrating is, yeah, you got your drive mode thing all the way down here that you can click through, but you have this R mode button right here, which will put it right into race mode. It would be nice if this were just a drive mode selector, because every time you press it, it just continues to do nothing. It just, like, freaks oh. out on the race screen. It'd be cool if you could cycle through your drive modes with it. I can really see, like, your hand right there, like, selecting it on accident, too. Yeah, you have to kind of press it to it. This is actually really neat. I don't grab this real quick. You can change, look at how many different levels of um, suspension you can choose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different settings. I don't know Jeez. who's gonna need to be like, ooh, the, the, the 12th setting's a little too stiff. Oh, come back, come back. I'd rather go to 12 or 10, but it is kind of neat that you can customize it. Um, can do the steering weight, the drivetrain, the engine sound right here. So there's pure. Oh, drive. <laughs> uh, let's go. This is pure. Here's race. Here's comfort. Then it's no different. Yeah. And here's sport. That's no different. <laughs> You're adjusting the drivetrain. Oh, shoot. Sorry. This is comfort. Here's sport. And here's race. And back to pure. That's also, no soft limiters. That's kind of cool. You can also do your adaptive cruise control and light assist customizations. And of course, you can change the colors. I love that. Comments? Yes. Xavier said he moved to Memphis. Oh, neat. <laughs> Do you neat. like it, Xavier? Forza Test Drive says, looks like a funny road trip. Uh, what's the brand new sound system? Um, and the speakers on the A pillar look very nice. Uh, it's a Harman Kardon sound system. It's fine. And yes, I think they look good. Uh, Joe Marlowe is wanting to know if you can click or press the volume instead of just having to swipe. Yes, you can tap, 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 and from C3 AI, C3 AI software reviewers. Got it. What's 
one, it says, biggest perks of this car for me over what Honda Hyundai I will address all three of those. Seat comfort, Civic Type R is more comfortable. Or not, sorry, not the Type R, the SI. And don't get me wrong, this has much, much less power, uh, power than the SI, but I'd understand if you're not cross shot them, but I did the fuel economy both and I was more comfortable in the SI, just subtly. Um, sound insulation. Sound insulation, this actually has a surprising amount of oh, road boy. noise on the highway. We'll, we'll go around real quick and, uh, and we'll kind of show you. It's actually wind noise, the road noise isn't too bad, it's just a surprising amount of wind noise. But the Civic is also kind of loud. And then... Adaptive dampers. Yes, it is cool to be able to do the change the adaptive dampers. I thought the ride was really good in the Civic as well. Now, regarding this is going to be Typically, we ask for donations for launch controls, but... But it'd be cool. <laughs> wow! Yas donated five dollars for a launch control. Hey, oh, thanks, Yas. <laughs> we will do another one, and we'll maybe we'll try doing it in a different area. Maybe our signal will be better. Cool Squad is asking. Maybe we should wait for after we launch on the. Okay. hold the lane very well but what happens is is it yells at you too often so we're gonna just kind of uh, sit here I'm gonna keep my hand somewhat on the wheel so I am touching it I'm giving just just the slightest bit maybe I'm just kind of cruising on the highway sort of deal like I was earlier today and then it says take over steering 
and then maybe if you didn't catch that, then it screams at you. And then look, I'll give a little wiggle. I'm wiggling the wheel. Just gets old. comments above everyone else's so that's awesome yeah yeah um happy to answer all right cool um so for some people that may have just started watching the video yeah and didn't catch a lot of the comments that you had earlier yeah would you be able to give a one cent one to two sentence synopsis of what you think about the golf r i think it's an excellent driver's car for the rest of the i aspects of the vehicle they, it has a learning curve and some people might be interested in learning to get used to it and some people are not going to be interested for me there are many more exciting cars at $45,000 that I would choose over this okay so top two or three would it be in my top two or three no or are you what would, for what would you choose over this I choose a Kia Stinger and I would choose a Tesla Model 3 Okay, very cool. In that price range? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool squad, let us know if that answered your question. Uh, Moran says, last week I drove to Holly, Michigan, did tow the 812 with me, but uh, at 3 a.m. he passed Ann Arbor and got an emergency call having to go back to L.A. Oh, no. So I couldn't, I couldn't drop off the 812. Ah. It's too bad. Bummer, man. Next time, hit us up right. on the gram. Right. Lucy says, Charlie, sometimes you blow my mind when you go fast. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, and Darian Alexandru is asking for a 40 to 60. Oh, 40 to 60. Okay. And Joe Merlot is asking for a 40 to 80. Okay. <laughs> Don't let me forget to get um, the launch controls, too, for uh, yes, for yes. gas and um, most wanted. Right. Those are awesome donations. Thank you, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, what do you think of the Meridian audio system? Those are pretty good. They tend to, they tend to be pretty strong. Very cool. Any new Benz models coming in soon? The Topher is getting an S500, but I don't think we're going to get that. Any C-Class or anything? No. We'll probably be getting some sort of Benz in February. Okay. Next month. I am driving the new uh, Kia EV6 next week, though, so I feel like Pittsburgh Man might be interested in that. Ooh, Most Wanted has another question. Okay. Which transmission do you think suits this car best? I generally see people recommend manual for the GTI and DSG for the R. That's going to be an excellent question for Chris Brower because he had, will have driven both. He's already driven the six-speed manual, and then he's going to drive this starting tonight. And he'll be able to address that more. I think I would pick the dual clutch for this car because all wheel drive, front wheel drive based manuals just don't tend to be very satisfying. Got it. Yeah. Final comment before we go out. Yas says 45,000 is just too much. I kind of have to agree. I mean, I would I would pick a Civic Type R over this. I'd pick a Veloster N over this. And it just it just comes down to the Veloster cost. Um, can't you get like, well, not that that would be as exciting. What other like luxury cars or like performance-y borderline luxury cars are there that are sporty at that price? I mean, Kia Stinger, I feel like is a great example. Or Fusion Sport. They don't make that anymore. Would you still pick one up? But anyway, if we're talking used cars, there's a, a totally different ballpark. I'm just talking new cars. Um, um I mean, you could get a, you could get a, a Mustang or a Camaro. Yeah. Um, that price range. Yeah. For like, what, 50? No, like 40 that you could get a V8. Wow. You could get a Mustang EcoBoost that makes just as much power for like 30, yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, How much of power does this make? 315. Yeah, the EcoBoost makes more, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you could definitely tune it to make more. Um, it doesn't have all-wheel drive. It's not quite as practical. And then there's some performance SUVs around, too. There's the Kona N. There's um, some other brands are making sporty SUVs. I'm sure I'm not thinking of right now. So, yeah, you got to kind of kind of remember that. Why is a sporty SUV? It is. And although, it's in that price range. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. No, it's like it's, 60 it's, grand now. Yeah, <laughs> I should know that. <laughs> right. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Let's do some walking around. Let's cool off the GoPro a little bit. And we'll get uh, Nathan and Alyssa behind the wheel and get some of their thoughts on the car. Yeah. I do think this thing looks good. A little... I think the Mark 7 looked better, though. What was that beeping? So the car just being a pain in the ass. I wasn't sure if you had to beep. <laughs> no, Volkswagen... The new Volkswagen is just like to beep. They're so pissy. Mine was great. It never yeah, beeped yeah you know, no, you owned a great era of Volkswagen. 2013 Passat, very simple, straightforward. Yeah, classic yeah not diesel not diesel that's not a great year for the diesel <laughs> right if you don't care about the environment it was a good year for the diesel <laughs> if you don't care about the laws it's a great year for the diesel yeah yeah i do like the rear a lot though i think that looks great also i kind of like how they made the the gas cap like slanted yeah. um it kind of makes the whole car look faster a parallelogram yeah it is a pair good yeah thank you <laughs> Yeah, Nathan got a lot of cool shots on this yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot of good looking angles of the car. And the ride is surprisingly good too. Nathan said it's a bit rough in the back, but um, overall, rides quite well. Nathan, you want to hop in and give us some revs? Yeah. Do it in Nurburgring mode? I just commented how we're all very, wearing very different outdoor attire right now. Yes. Oh. Lick. No key detected seat owner's manual. <laughs> seat owner's manual to find the key. So right now it's in sport mode. And there's Nurburgring mode. <laughs> this is louder than I expected. Bounce it off the rev limiter a few times. Uh, do you like to go back or front? I'll go back. Okay. Yeah, it's louder back there than I expected. Huh. Right. Germans really don't care too much about your drinks. They really don't. And when they yeah. do, they do something stupid. Yeah. God, I do love the way this thing feels steering-wise, though. Yeah, it's very tight. The steering, it feels nice, especially for like a hatchback. Can I ask that we don't do any um, brake testing this one? Yep. Yeah, we will. Thank you. Unless it's an emergency. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> Sorry, officer, I couldn't brake. Alyssa asked me not to. I will say that the cockpit just feels pretty good too. Like driving position, kind of seen arms are very comfortable, stretched. It just the Germans, the Germans know how to do driving. <laughs> they really do. Yeah. Can we hold that at all? No, thank okay. you though. Sure. You get some comments. in all 50 states right away but Kia is so if we wanted to get one we'd have to get the Kia so Do you know what states are starting to sell it in at first just like the hippie states California New York Illinois Got it. Yep. Illinois is considered to be hippie well they give <laughs> you have to shift why is it in the manual why is how do you get out of manual you're out of manual oh, oh it says yeah. S mode is S and then M is manual. Oh. Yep. Yeah, Illinois for some reason they provide like EV incentives, so yeah. Got it. So I hold this. There we go. You can also just push the shifter down. Cool spot says I would get the Jaguar FX XF over this golf bar. Yeah, you're right, you could get it. The XF is slow though. Compared to this, it's heavy. Yeah. Go ahead. That's it. I'm just saying it's heavy. Okay. Darian is asking what you think about the Rav4 front. I think the Rav4 
4 Prime is a good car. I don't think I would pay $50,000 for it. Ooh, a Focus ST. But I like it. Also, I would probably just get a normal EV. that the guy in the 40-year-old clapped-out S10 doesn't know how to drive. I love how it lets you bounce. You can't even read them. Kevin, super ask around here. how this compares to a Mercedes A-Class AMG. I don't think it does. Well, in some ways it does. I would probably choose the a class. A class AMG. Oh yeah, it totally does. Yeah. A class. It's a, especially in Europe, the A45. It's a small all-wheel drive hatchback. How about it? Uh, I think did a drag race between this and the A845. Which one win? One. Uh, a class because it's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. AMG engines are a lot more exciting than this motor. Probably like actively like trading 15 different cryptos and selling five houses as well. He's watching this video. Probably just mis mistyped something. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, cool Squad said the Elantra N sounds a lot better than this. Oh yeah, yeah. The Elantra, all the Hyundai N products sound amazing because they didn't cheap out and just do a uh, speakers and sound they actually made an active exhaust that sounds really good. Uh, Parsa just asked which one sounds better, Elantra N or Golf R? Oh yeah, it's totally the Elantra N. Trying to get some crackles and burbles out of the exhaust. Yeah, it's kind of tough to do. I did it really well yesterday. Yeah. Sometimes you can get them on downshift. But, or sorry, up. No, downshift. I think you have to downshift so it lands around five grand. Ooh, launch control. Sure. Oh, drift. Is it worth doing a separate 40 to 62? No. Okay. All right, so it's fun on the brake. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> I shifted by accident. said that because whatever else he said I was gonna say no it's the LC500. <laughs> <laughs> Andre doesn't think this is gonna drift. It drifts. I can I can do it again after Alyssa drives. It uh, Preferably I would turn the stability control all the way off which somehow you can do. Maybe Moran can tell us how but it's complicated. Mm. Most Wanted says I think this car lands in a similar spot to the TLX Type S 
it's a bit too in the middle to be the best at anything and that really hurts it. Yeah, that's. I think that's a, probably a pretty good evaluation. I haven't driven the Type S yet, but I, I think you're probably right. I know a lot of people have kind of said a similar thing. That doesn't mean that it's not the right car for some people. Some people really do want a jack of all trades and that'll then this will be really good. To me, it, it just once you start getting above $40,000, there has to be a wow factor of some degree. And I don't know if this has the best wow factor in any department. The tech is meh. The, uh, the driving is fun, but I've had more fun in cheaper cars. The interior is nice, but I've had nicer interiors in cheaper cars. So it's just kind of like... Also, can, just swap with you, Alyssa. Okay. Do you kind of get what I mean? Yeah, I totally get what you mean. Do you have any other thoughts from while you're... Um... Um, it drives perfectly. I hate the way the interior is. I hate the infotainment. Well, it'll be interesting for you to actually spend more time with it and see if you acclimate. Well, like, I've play spent a pretty good amount of time and played with it yesterday yeah. when I was out getting photos, and it's just... It's just kind of dumb, in my opinion. Hmm. Like, they're, they could have made it so much easier, but they didn't. Well, like, what sort of things do you mean? Himself. This is the worst. The first time I ever experienced anything like this was on a Cadillac. And but it I just worked. It. What do you mean? Put but a knob. It is... Put a knob on there. I know. I prefer a, a knob. Put a knob on here. Why do they have to do these touch-sensitive buttons? I agree. But So, like, what else? So, exactly. So, why do they do it? It's like, just... But Mercedes there. did it. Uh, yeah, and I hate it know, there, too. I hate uh, it when every car can be doesn't put a knob somewhere. Okay, I agree. It's, what else? It doesn't feel like the most satisfying or responsive or... It's much better than that Kia we have. <laughs> yeah, that is unacceptable. <laughs> um, yeah, anytime you have to climb it. How do you turn it on? The on button. Oh. <laughs> so that's what I mean. A lot of things are like learning curve. Once you know how to do it, it's a that's little bad. more. I want to see something else funny. Whoops, sorry, go off. If you go to air care, you press air care. What? <laughs> you press and it. nothing happens. Yeah. It gradually makes the air inside the car more blue. I do like that. Is it purifying the air? Yep. If that's you press here, it awesome. tells you the fine dust particles are. You should do a short like that with the blue, like just saying exactly what you did. Yeah. Or not a short, but a, a, a real. I did. Oh, okay. Where I'm going, I have, have it set up, I just need to post That's it. That's actually kind of like a silly function that I really like. It's purifying the air inside the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you always get so much dust, especially all over the infotainment and the dash and everywhere. And especially if you live on a dirt road, your car on the inside is going to be horribly dusty all the time. So that's kind of a neat idea. But then you have like an air filter that you have to change, right? Yeah, you do in every car though. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Well. Yeah. Um, for as a test drive, what's the best sound system in a small car in your opinion? The Mazda 3 system is pretty good. I assume, oh, the new Civics is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's that Bose Plus or something just like Bose, that. Just Bose, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll have to think some more if I think of any others. I don't know something that they did do right. They put the um, defroster buttons over here. That's really smart. As long as you know that it's there. If you first got into this car and you're looking here, you're like, where is the defroster? That's true, but... <laughs> well, yeah, again, once you know, it's, it's good. Why do you like it over there, Nathan? Because it just makes sense. Everything else with the windshield is on this side of the car, and it's just so much easier than having to hit climb, uh, then classic climb it, then I guess you could do this. But yeah, if you just want the front thing, then yeah. it works. What about interior, Elantra N or the Golf? I'd take the Golf's interior. Elantra's. But I'd take the Elantra's price, so there's that. What's in Charlie's hand? It looks like a Think phone. It's a pink iPhone. It's Alyssa's. It's my phone. Um, Yas said those capacitive buttons don't even light up at night. To, to your point, Nathan, Ooh. these these. Uh, yeah. so that's annoying. And not, another thing, these buttons are capacitive, but the whole entire thing, on both sides, the, the whole panel kind of moves around. Yeah. All right, let's get Alyssa driving. Yes. I'll give you this to do a quick walk around. There. Alyssa, give me a rev. Put it 
in race. Put it in race. That's race. Oh, there we go. Huh. I just changed I was gonna say, because it just didn't sound that like good. <laughs> oh, there's a cap over there. Uh, right directly my radio here. Right oh, oh yeah. What's your favorite sound system? Um, the Volvo systems, the Volvo B and O or Bank uh, Bank and Olufsen. Bank and Olufsen. On a Kia or Hyundai, you can hit auto and it figures out what you need. <laughs> yes, that's a good point, Mr. Man. We have the Kia Sorento this they're week as well. Over this way. No, they're just probably doing their loop. So just go ahead and drive away. Um, yes. Just go ahead. Okay. We ain't done nothing wrong, officer. I just feel like he always comes. You're probably just making sure you're not doing anything illegal. Okay. Detroit Metro Police. Lisa, uh, Lisa plays the robot, says, yay, Alyssa. And Darian Alexandru says, the best p have in your opinion? Probably the Toyota RAV4 Prime. That's a pretty good, pretty good package. Also, the Volvo ones are pretty good. And Most Wanted says, surprising amount of turbo noise for a stock exhaust. I thought that too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. got 26 people who will back us up and that we've done nothing illegal this whole time. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's me driving that. Well, no, I'm not actually. <laughs> but I know is, I'm not going to drive fast. The good thing is it's not Nathan. Yeah. Why would it be worse if it was me? Because you're not covered under uh, Volkswagen insurance. Pittsburgh man, making sure Alyssa isn't getting kidnapped by Charlie and Nathan. Nathan Salzar, my favorite videos is the Cadillac 36 speaker. Yeah, you're right. That one is really good as well. The uh, the Escalade. Plus, he doesn't have any jurisdiction once we get this way. Really? Yeah. There's uh, airport police. That's yeah, the Detroit Metro. Yeah. That's why probably why he went that way. Right. Cool. All right. Detroit Metro is is it's the same airport system as um, Willow Run. Oh, I hope that just meant like Detroit's. I mean, Detroit Metro is obviously the biggest of the airports, but I think there's... No, I thought it meant like count, county. Oh, uh, gotcha. Well, that'd be Wayne, right? Have you heard the Harman Kardon system in the new N cars? And do you think the one in this Mark 8 system, Golf, is better? I find the base so weak in my Kona N. No, it's pretty comparable. The base is pretty weak in here, too. I'd give them both about a C. Fergie is actually watching our chat. Very cool. Yeah. I figure Fergie could probably drop a donation or two. <laughs> so I'll try to fly with the car. You're good to go. Someone said regarding the cop. <laughs> William Long. How is the responsiveness of the DSG? VW's DSGs seem to be hit or miss lately. It's funny you say that, William, because I actually found that the upshifts we're not very quick, unless I was in full-on Nürburgring mode. But even in race mode and sport mode, there are a few hundred RPM delay between when I'd hit the shifter and when it would actually shift. So that surprised me, but the other responsiveness seems to be pretty good. Oh my God, more of this. Yeah. People, People honestly don't know how to do that. I know. We got this whole lane to merge with. I know. Well, maybe they just don't know that they do have that whole lane to merge with. Josh John, are Mercedes-based sound systems that good, or is the upgrade to the Burmester always better? 
Joshua, I find, I, we haven't gotten to test many base systems. I know I tested one in the A class, I'm pretty sure it was. And it was fine, but you're not gonna be So, if you care about audio, you should probably upgrade. I really like the size of this car. Yeah, the Golf is a good size. I love the size of this car. Yeah, Alyssa just deserves to be driving a GTI. We'll find her a nice, clean Mark 7.5, and she'd be very happy. I probably would be. I actually like how light the steering wheel is, okay. and how thick it is. And then it comes in and is a little narrow here. Yeah. Yeah, it's and nice it's too. thicker everywhere else. That's kind of fun. I should play around with the haptics, too, to see if I hate them. Yeah, I didn't even show you guys all the different gauge cluster options you can do, because you can make it look more traditional, you can make it a map. It does corner really well, that was awesome. Oh, I love that. I love that a lot. Does it do the thing? No, it doesn't. It like, turns on the, the camera when you have your turn signal on? It does not. It does not do that. For 45000 it probably should. Well, it's kind of like a different brands do different things sort That's of deal. Fair. I would use this map all the time for work. I uh -huh. love that. I really like that. And I like that it's like direct in my eye line and not necessarily over here. I, even though that's something that you would for sure get used to, that's not that big of a deal, but this is really cool. Mm -hmm. Although when you are making a big turn and you that you're turning onto the right road and you're using this, but your wheel is all the way around, <laughs> it's gonna block that. That would be a little irritating. Like right now, I'd be like, what? Most wanted, there is a DSG mode in the custom setting. I'm quite sure. I'll try to double check later. Um, if I decide to get this car, I will drive it more like Alyssa. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. What and is most this? Really well. um, I don't. That's like your adaptive cruise control screen. Okay. I really like how haptic buttons feel. Push, you have to actually like put some push into it to make them engage. Yeah. What I mean was the Golf R all drive system has more front wheel drive bias and character than rear wheel drive bias. It's easily solvable with a standalone Holodex controller. Yeah, that makes sense, Maroon. Um, Alyssa is just a VW enthusiast. This is I true. really am. I yeah. really am. This she's first she's a simp. Oh, you're turning it I'm on. doing it. I'm testing. I'm pressing a bunch of these buttons. Lucy, Alyssa had an appendectomy. She got yes. her appendix removed. Yep. Andre, my dad had a three-door golf and it was so much fun. Stick shift too. That's pretty I neat. I don't know what I'm doing. Joshua John, have y'all reviewed a 200 cruiser? Saw Demiro got one. No, we have not. Sorry. It's okay. My 2007 Accord has six speakers and is decent. Good. <laughs> yeah, I think Honda audio systems were better and then they got worse and now they're getting better. I really like the haptic buttons. I would just, I would just press them all the time. I like how they sound too. Well, good. Again, I'm, I'm glad because a Someone lot of one likes it. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people rail on the on all of the stuff, but that hey, a Rivian. Uh, that doesn't mean they're bad. That just means we have different tastes. And clearly, some people thought they were good because they were put in this car and. So other people think they're good because Alyssa likes them. This also has a heated steering wheel. Yeah, three stages too. Wow, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it okay I'm going back to the uh, Yeah, office? that's great. All right, great. Yeah, we got about five minutes left. Perfect. Lucy, oh. you will have to use the Google machine to figure out what that is. Her appendix was infected and she had to get it removed. Poor Alyssa, but you didn't need that appendix anyway. Nope. Yeah, she's better without get it. Get out, get out. She's cut. <laughs> That was a Volvo. That's Volvo. a Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> S60. Wow. That's awesome. uh, oh, yeah. an M35X too. Or M3 or something. Some sort of M. Okay, that truck is not going. They've got a green. <laughs> yeah, Alyssa's cutting out any uh, any dead weight in her life, and the appendix was part of it. Part of yep. that. Sam B, are you planning to review an Audi A3 soon? Hopefully. I'd like to get an A3. We ask Audi for a lot of cars, and we don't get too many. So hopefully we'll get more this year. Is this in race 
microphone now because the steering is hot is heavier and it sounded yeah you must have pressed the r i think i might have <laughs> yeah i did most wanted my 2011 accord has one of the worst systems i've ever heard i had to spend a lot of money to make it acceptable night years yeah that makes sense here is a volvo v70 coming by very fine automobile Neat. Well, this has been a fun one, everyone. Next week, we will probably not be here because, like I said, I will be driving the EV6. If I do get some time to live stream next week, I will live stream the EV6 out in Sonoma, California. But typically, those events are pretty busy, so I don't know if I'll be able to. And, yeah, that's fine. And then, the following week, I think we'll have BMW. Next week we're gonna have a Bronco and a Mini Electric uh. and a Hyundai Santa Cruz. So it's gonna be a really busy week. I'm excited for that electric Mini. I yeah. think that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be neat. I really love this stop start button. It's so pretty. Yeah, it does look classy. It looks super nice. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Final thoughts. You like it? I like. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's kind of neat. I wish I had. Goodbye. Um, I wish I had this car when I was in college. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had $45,000 to pay for this car when I was in college. Uh, but that was going towards college, so. One of the last things I'll say on it is it's a, a little sad for me because the Golf always represented a car that, yes, obviously this Golf R is really neat to drive and it's got a lot of neat things about it. But that meant that the GTI was also very good and even the base Golf was also really good to drive. It was, even though it was slower, it was still fun. It was still... Um, just a nice car to be in. Now, we don't even get the Golf here in America. You only get the GTI and the R. So unless you're ponying up at least 30 grand, sorry, you better yeah. buy something else. You better buy a Civic, essentially. Yeah. So Ford has given up on this class. Volkswagen's starting to give up on this class. But clearly, here's a someone who's going to be a target buyer for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Very much appreciates this class of car. And she's going to have pretty much gonna have to go to the Koreans soon to get something like this. I would love an, uh, oh, shoot, a Veloster N. Yeah. I think that would be really cool. Right, so Hyundai and, and Kia still value this this uh, this class and the smaller cars as well, but, yeah. you know, the other brands are, are giving up on it. So that's a little sad. Yeah. So the Golf R is good, it's neat, but, I mean, what's in the future? You know, an ID4 R? Yeah. So... It's almost like you should snag these up now before they entirely start making them. That is true. Yeah. Most Wanted says, uh, thanks again for the live drive. I really like hearing all your different perspectives. You're welcome. And Andre is excited for the Benz EQX. Yeah, me too. That's going to be sweet. <laughs> Pittsburgh man said, Escalade guy will smoke all of Moran's cars. <laughs> And are y'all reviewing the Lexus LX600 soon? They're probably not going to be into the fleets until probably for another few months. I know Lexus just had their first drive event. I saw my buddy Kurt Kreifels at that, um, but we did not get that invite, unfortunately. Uh, Morgan5 says, Alyssa is so pretty. Oh, I thank agree. you. Yes. What about Nathan? Isn't Nathan pretty, too? Nathan's nice the haircut. prettiest. Yeah. Nathan, you just need earrings and a scarf <laughs> like Alyssa, and then, and then they'll call you pretty, too. It's sad that Hondas don't have good sound systems. Glad the 22 Civic has a Bose. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the Boses will be coming to more to more of them. I think Veloster guy comments... Uh, Moran says, I think the Veloster guy from comments will smoke the Golf R. That's right. That's where it all came from. I'm reading them backward. Uh, stay safe as well, Pittsburgh man. Have a good live. Nathan says, we don't get any of the German hot hatches in the U.S. either. Yeah, you're right. We're losing more and more of them. <laughs> Sweet. I have a question. Yes. Is this on? It's making a noise as I press it. it. Makes the same noise as I press this. This one. You should be able to turn these on, shouldn't you? That's a really good question, Alyssa. Um, I turned on when the car was on. I agree that I think you should be able to as well, but it must be because the car is not on. But there are other cars that are not on, and the lights will still turn on. I do agree. You are you are correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of curiosities with this one. Yeah, that's too bad. Ah, Kendo, I'm driving a CX-30 Turbo myself. Yeah, that's your, that's right. A CX-30 Turbo would be a... It's not going to be as fun to drive as this, but also a very good option at a, a lower price. Um, how does it compare to the new Audi S3? I haven't driven the new, new S3, but the last-gen S3 was pretty sweet. 
Thank you for the live drive, and Alyssa, you did well. Thank you. All right, one last walk, and then let's beat it. So Nathan, would you have a golf R? No. Hey, Alyssa, would you have a golf R? I would. Okay, and I would not. Okay. So, final verdict on the Golf R. One out of three would haves. <laughs> we'll, we'll let Chris Brower weigh in later this week and see if he would have. And the Topher as well. Oh, fun fact, all of you watching as well. The Topher is taking this ice racing this weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he is going to race this on a lake, frozen lake, and see how it does. That's amazing. Yeah, so keep an eye on the, Cho the Topher's channel for that video. Sweet. We're going to head out and get some dinner. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. We're Charlie, Alyssa, and Nathan from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.